Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now again, I've uh, been a little bit busy as of late, but I'm trying to produce the content as much as possible. So I'm sorry if it's not daily, but I'm actually trying my absolute hardest for that. But anyways, let's get that out of the way and let's get right into the video. So today what we're going to be doing is show you guys perhaps the best brawler in Brawl Stars. Now I think it's a toss up between Poco and Max. So we're going to make an entirely separate video on Max. We might actually compare the two in an entirely separate video to figure out what the best brawler in the game is right now. But I believe Poco might be the most broken because of its synergy with other brawlers. Now there's five different maps out right now that we can show Poco's skills. And we're going to do one game on each of those five maps. With that being said, let's hop into some games and let's explain to you guys just why Poco is so broken, how to use it, and what brawlers to match up with your Poco. Let's hop into it. Alright, so here we go into the first game. Now we're going to be going up against a Piper, a Ms, and a Sandy. So three actually pretty decent counters, but... Poco is just kind of broken, so what you want to do with Poco, more or less, is kind of just juke and get your super. Um, as I say that, I get hit by first shot, but you kind of just want to chill over here. And, you know, not do much. Like, you don't want to just go in. Um, you kind of just want to stay back, you know, just let your teammates do stuff. But you want to assist them. So, you guys can see I gave Lukey Bear Gadget over there. He's going to be able to gain HP and not really do anything. He's full health. I'm just going to give him a really quick heal. There's nothing that their Piper is going to be able to do about that. He's going to try jumping to another side. But again, Lukey's going to be able to get that really easy kill. And then right when Lukey's going to die, again, I don't have to get kills. I'm just here supporting Lukey. So again, we're going to use a gadget. We're just going to help him out. He's just going to run forward. And that's exactly what we're going to help him with. There's probably an M somewhere over here. So you want to play a very defensive style. You don't want to go in. You know, you don't want to do anything too silly. You just kind of want to stay back and let your teammates do the work for you. Uh, while well, you just, you know, play smart and support. So we're just going to be over here. We're close to super, so we can't go down. We're just going to heal Jig over there. And Jig should be able to get this kill. We're going to be able to get it. So right there, we only need one more gem, as you guys can see. It's pretty easy in gem grab, to be honest, because everyone has to eventually go for the gems. And you can just heal up your team and move forward. Again, we're going to give Luki that gadget. So he has an easier time getting those kills. And what we're going to do, we're just going to walk back. There is an M's in there, so we're just going to play it safe. And again, all we have to do is juke, hit shots. We did absolutely nothing special that game. But because of the brawlers that we synergize with and how easy it is to play Poco, we literally, you know, hard carried while at the same time not doing anything. All we have to do is support our team and play correctly. Now, that being said, we're going to hop into Brawl Ball. Brawl Ball is even easier, actually, surprisingly. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now we're facing again a counter in B, but we're going to show you guys how to just play it correctly. So we're just going to take our time. Jig's going to go in. Preferably, I would have given him a gadget, but he went in a little bit too fast for me to give him a gadget. Um, this isn't looking too good, actually, over here. Jig should be able to help a little bit. Oh, but they're going to squeeze that by me. That's a mistake on my end. I'm just going to pop gadget straight away on Jig, and hopefully Jig just goes in. Uh, but it looks like he is going to. I'm going to heal him up when he loses some HP. There we go. Just going to give him that heal. Going to support Luki Bear and give him heals. And now we're going to give everyone a gadget, so this should be a pretty easy goal right here. We're going to be able to get this kill soon, I would assume. But there we go. Going to be able to get those easy kills. And we're going to put that one in the net. So when you use your gadget and play properly, you know it's really easy goal. So again, same thing. Going to give Jig the gadget. He gives a 3k shot to the B. He's going to go in. I'm going to go for the heal. I'm going to be able to get it. And right here, we're just going to continuously heal the teammates. Nothing that they can do about it. And that's a really easy, quick goal. Now again, both games, they had counters. It's not like they're not playing counters. But if you just play Poco correctly, get those gadgets off, share it with your teammate, heal your teammates, there's actually absolutely nothing that the other team can do to stop you. You just absolutely, you know, bash them and just run through them. So we're going to go to Bounty, where Poco obviously isn't a good brawler. It's like the 30th out of 39th brawler that you'd think would be good in Bounty. But if you play it correctly, it is easy wins. So let's hop into it. And again, let's just show you guys how easy it is. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now we're facing, you know, three actually good brawlers in uh, Bounty. I guess we have one since we do have Luki on the Jackie. But again, if you play this correctly, it's easy. And it's actually much easier in Bounty since no one expects you to run tanks. So I'm going to be sharing my gadget with my team over there. Every, oh, I guess just me and Jig got it, but it doesn't really matter. We can heal our team. And right there, I'm going to share my gadget with Jig. I'm going to heal him up as much as possible. Going to be healing him while healing uh, or while hitting our opponent at the same time. Going to be able to heal Luki Bear and do damage. That's very key when playing Bounty is trying to, you know, get a lot of value out of it. So hitting people while healing is, you know, something that's really useful and really good. And as you guys can see, we're like 40 seconds into the game and we're winning 11 nothing right now. There's like nothing that they can do. Um, Jig might go down. We might get over aggressive, but this game has already been won. 
by us. And you guys can see, you know, I don't have stars. I'm just healing my teammates. I don't need to have any stars. It's not my job. I just let them do stuff and I support it as best as I can. You guys can see they're low, so I'm going to heal up. If I die, it's not really that big of a deal. But if they die, it is. We're all going to go down, but we're still going to have the lead. But we do have heal, so we can just go and make a play. We were playing just a little bit aggressive. Jig's going to probably go in now. I'm just waiting for one of my teammates to go in. Jig's going to go in. Oh, I'm actually going to miss the heal on him over there. So that's not that very, that's not very good. We're only winning by one now, but we should still be fine. Uh, Jig's going to just, you know, kind of sneak behind us. We have our heal again, so it didn't take too long to get it back. And I guess we're just going to wait for Luki to go make a play. Could have just stand behind him over here. Give him some heals. He can move up freely. We're moving up the map pretty nicely. Again, he's getting hit, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to have to retreat, I think, because the Jukes might not be that on point right now, but things are still looking okay. Their Jackie's going to go in. I'm just going to heal my teammates so it doesn't matter. Um, they're at full HP. It's a 2v3 now. Jig should be able to get that kill. I doubt he dies. Actually, we have to support him, though. It doesn't really matter if Luki dies. Uh, but yeah, but that's going to be the bounty game. That was pretty easy, although, you know, the game got a little bit close. All we had to do was support our team, and if we did, you know, it's an easy win. And again, they had really weird counters. Like, Leon on this map is not good, but it counters tanks really well. So again, 3 for 3 on facing counters. And we're going to move into the last map that's out right now, which is going to be Pit Stop. So you guys might think, you know, Poco and Heist. That is the worst thing you can play. But we're just going to do an absolute tank rush strategy. And just move forward, go on the safe with two tanks, and just take it out completely. So let's hop into it, and let's show you guys how easy it is. All right, so here we go into our Heist game. Now we're, li <laughs> we're literally facing three counters. But what we're going to do is we're all just going to go up the same lane. Uh, I guess Luki does not know the strat. But we'll figure it out. We're literally running double tank, uh, but one of our tanks is going to be Pam to have a little bit of range here. We're going to give Luki gadget. We're just going to move up and pinch as best as possible. Now, Jig is going to go down, but we're going to be able to pick up one kill. I think we just leave that spike for uh, for Jig. I'm going to give Luki a heal right there. Now, we're going to move up. Hopefully, we don't get Rico super to the face. Looks like Luki might. We're going to try and heal him. He's going to be healed. He's rolling in and popping off, but we're going to be able to get two kills. We're just going to try and keep Luki alive over here. So we're going to gain a little bit of HP. Then we're just going to heal Luki. Uh, we're going to go down, but hopefully Luki can do something. He's not going to be able to. But it is fine because the Poco is doing really well so far in Heist. Now, unfortunately, I'm out of gadgets. But we're just going to work on getting, you know, kills, healing our teammates, helping them out. Because we do normally face squishies in Heist. So that's a good thing when you're a Poco. Luki's going to roll in. I can't heal him yet gonna be able to heal him over there now we're both full hp so we can make some pretty good attacks i don't know why this rico is shooting me as if there's not a daryl in their bush but i guess that's their strat uh, i'm gonna try and stay alive as long as possible i can't really do anything i'm gonna die but just trying to stall it out for luki luki's gonna be able to get a kill he's playing really well so is jigsaw we have a pretty big lead and again i'm not really doing much i'm kind of just supporting my team getting kills here and there when i have to um but i'm mostly just healing my teammates helping them out not really going for too much and as you guys can see, you know, I'm giving up my body. I'm sacrificing myself so my teammates can get in better position because, you know, they're the ones that are kind of doing stuff while I'm just the support. And that's the mindset you have to have with Poco. So we got the safe pretty low over here. This max is one shot. I don't think we're going to be able to get the kill. But so far, pretty good. We're going to heal Jigsaw over here. Luki's going to go for a roll, perhaps. Yeah, he's going to go for that roll. This max is pretty low. It's one shot now. We definitely can't leave a spike on safe. So I'm just going to go to the safe. Um, but it's not going to do too much. I'm just going to heal over there. Luki should be able to finish it. He's not going to be able to actually. So it's at 4%. So it's actually not looking as promising as it was earlier. But I'm sure it's still going to finish out okay. Jig's trying to make an aggressive play. I think he might go down. I'm not sure. But Luki Bear does have super. So that's obviously a good thing. I'm just going to run up. Luki Bear is going to run on safe. I don't think there's anything that they can do, even if they take out Luki. You know, it's just two shots for us. And that is going to be it for Poco in the 3v3 game mode. So now what we're going to do is show you guys Poco in Duo Showdown, where it's also super effective. So let's hop into that. Let's show you our final game. And then we'll tell you the brawlers that you should play with Poco. And then that'll wrap up the video. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so here we go into our final game. Now we're going to be playing feast or famine with jig so hopefully this goes well i think we're just gonna rush middle for fun this tar knows where we are obviously so we're gonna take a few shots over here gonna be able to get that kill fairly easily now we're just gonna chill in the middle should be able to get all of these boxes over here so we're gonna be a pretty strong team so we're gonna have six so what we want to do here is just support jigsaw as much as we can obviously since we have six power-ups we can be a little bit more aggressive than we usually would be as a poco but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think it's going to be fine. You know, like 
I'm not going to change my style too much. Just going to support Jig. Um, let's just move out a little bit here. Try and play more aggressive. I'm going to give Jig my gadget so he can go in. Going to be able to pick up that kill really easily on the Mr. P. Jig should probably go in on those guys. Going to give him my gadget. Going to be able to pick up that kill over there. He's going to go for a snipe on that spike. He's almost going to be able to kill it 100%. It had to have been pretty low. Uh, but we're going to chase this guy down. Hopefully Jig can get in range. Four teams left. We are looking pretty good. And again, my goal here is just to support Jigsaw. Keep him full HP. I don't have to do too much. This Tara is going to try hurting us. But we do have our super, so we are fine. Not really concerned about anything. Just going to use my super, heal him up over there, and then try and get some kills. Going to be able to pick up both of them. So now we're going to have 10 power-ups. Three teams left. We're looking pretty good. A crow is going to be able to get a kill. We do pretty well against crow. Looks like we found a mort. So it's going to be another free kill. Two teams are going to be left. This looks like a pretty easy game over here. We're just going to use our uh, gadget over there on Jig. I'm going to use that heal on Jig. Now we're going to move forward. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage to that spike. We're going to be able to get that kill. This crow's probably going to jump away. That's what I would do if I was this crow, I guess. Oh, I might go down here, actually. Oh, I'm going to heal Jigsaw like last second. Crow's going to jump away. It's probably going to end up staying alive. So we're going to have to just wait this one out a little bit longer before we win. Because this crow did make a pretty good play. But it seems like we do have this one in the bag. So we're just going to move up. We're going to pinch these guys slowly, and we're going to be able to get that kill and win the game. And that's going to be it for the Poco video. Now, as you guys can see, Poco works absolutely anywhere. So I highly recommend playing Poco as much as you can, especially if you have a coordinated room. If you guys, you know, can use a looking for game feature or looking for lobby feature, uh, whatever you guys can do. But again, Poco is an absolute god, an absolute unit. We show you guys all games. You know, if we lose, we lose. I show you guys it, but it's really hard to lose with Poco. When you're playing it correctly now i would just say play it with every tank you don't have to have a double tank comp you can have like poco pam in a tank like you guys saw earlier or like poco mortis in a tank but tanks obviously synergize with mortis well or assassin type brawlers like crow where you can heal when he uses the shield or Colette when he dot when she dives like anything like that there's a lot of really good plays you can make with poco but just play those tankier hp brawlers poco doesn't really synergize well with range or spike or mr p or something like that so probably refrain from using poco like that but you guys can see Poco can work anywhere as long as you're playing it correctly. So make sure to try and do that. But that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, you guys know, leave a like, subscribe, do all that. But that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.